and uh, welcome to our new session today. Today we are talking with Apoor Khatri. Apoor has just made it to DSC. Uh, Apoor, many, many congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. So Apoor, we are here to you know, understand from you your journey and uh, whatever uh, you know, tips and tricks you can give to your juniors and uh, you know, whatever you can suggest that this is how they can to make their path as li a little easier if possible. So uh, anything that you would like to start with that, um, how has your journey been? How did you start? When did you start? You know, the ups and downs that you went through, any, what would you like to start with? Yeah, I can start with my, with my experience. So uh, I've just uh, completed my BTEC in civil engineering from VIT, uh, Vellore. And in my final year, I, uh, I decided to appear for the master's in economics entrances. Uh, although I was reading economics from 2021 starting, but uh, I decided to uh, uh, finally appear for entrances in August or September. So I started my preparation thoroughly after September. So yeah, last year, September. Yeah, last year, September. And that is when I joined Edusure uh, for the uh, for the Ecotopus program. Yeah. So I attended the classes. I I read the books, and then uh, I sat for IITM. I sat for ISI and uh, and for DSC only. Uh, only okay. You just sat for I. Uh, you didn't sit for anything else. Uh, no. Okay. So only the top, <laughs> like Ankit sir says. <laughs> he no, only uh, the top. But 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 I think I should have sat for uh, IGIDR and and JNU also. They are they are yeah. also very nice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, you should you you should have tried at least and then uh, yeah. seen. So um, okay, so first okay, let's start with IIT. You made it to IIT. That is the first exam, and say you get a lot of confidence also. Yes. So uh, and uh, IIT is also something that happens quite early. So uh, you know, uh, how did you start with IIT? How did you start your preparation for IIT? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I thought that. The first, the first exam I was going to give was ISI initially, but then later uh, around October, I uh, I got to know that uh, IIT jam is also there. So, oh. so, so, I, so at, at that point, I started, uh, I started preparing for jam only. Uh, I thought that let, uh, let, let me finish jam syllabus first. And then because the syllabus is common, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll help only. So uh, my advice would be to, uh, to to start preparation for jam uh, jam initially it will be very helpful you'll be you you you'll you'll cover all the, the whole syllabus thoroughly and you can take also take it as a practice test uh, if you want but uh, i think preparation for jam is uh, is very helpful uh, uh, prepare for jam and you you will prepare for i think all the exams yeah it's it seems it's, like a you know it's almost like it kind of pushes you to start early Otherwise, yeah. all exams start later. So because of yes. jam, you start preparing early. So that really helps in the long run. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Also, if you are able to clear, you, you'll get uh, enough confidence to sit for ISI and um, DSC and, and other exams. Also, also you can uh, see uh, what are your mistakes and, and all because uh, in the exams, the in, in the exam, the environment is totally different. Mm -hmm. Even even mocks can substitute for that. So so I think preparing for jam. Uh, is is, uh, is 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 helpful was helpful for me also right so you meant that actual giving actual exams because that pressure when it is there that you can't do this question again you can't think later you have to do it right now that yes. pressure you cannot replicate ever yes, so yes. it is it is kind of uh, if some and especially if somebody has exam nervousness or anything like that so it is better to actually give as many tests as possible before you know, your, whatever you are mainly aiming for before yes. those papers, yes. if you give those, it will be very helpful. Yes. And, and, and if you get into IIT, so uh, they are also very great, great place to be. Absolutely. So IIT is also very nice. It will be a very smooth ride for you after that because you won't be in any pressure during DSC or ISI or yes. IGDR. So it yes. will be great. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so IIT, you started focusing on and you prepared for IIT. And then was ISI, and of course you made it. You cleared the entrance, but uh, the interview me rahe kya tha. So um, then from ISI to DSC again, it's been a long gap. Yes. You know, it was such a long gap. You were already at IIT studying, uh, studying there. So uh, did you do anything special before the exam? Did you or how did you a first motivate yourself because itna gap tha. You had to keep doing the same thing again because. 
जैम से प्रिपरेशन वॉज ऑलमोस्ट की हाँ यू नो यूर प्रिपेयर दैट इज फेबर दिस इज ऑक्टोबर so the whole year you have to keep doing you don't and no announcement you don't know when the exam will happen so you know how do you keep yourself motivated that is a big uh, you know that's a big question here yes yes uh, this time actually uh, they, they took a very really long time uh, yeah. uh, to to get the examination so i think like uh, i had many friends here who were also preparing for dsc Uh, okay. some of them also have got uh, very good ranks okay. so so we we pushed each other i think uh, that was one motivation like uh, if if my roommate is studying i should also study it, it it's like that, that thing so uh, yeah it was frustrating at times uh, many times uh, i got frustrated my friend got uh, my friends uh, got uh, get frustrated but we used to help each other and and we just uh, uh, push it push ourselves more But, uh, it's a it's a final thing at, at least we should prepare for dsc yeah so for you the peer group helped that you know you were in touch with some people who were also sitting for it so yeah. if one one went down the other would you know uh, yeah, yeah. get give that motivation and so on so that peer group helped you that yeah. being in touch with people who are also studying yeah so yeah. that that helped you okay yeah. great so yeah, that is totally uh, for example uh, like you know some of the dsc previous papers are uh, difficult so, so some yeah. is are difficult than others so whenever one of us used to give a hard uh, exam so he, he would be down like obviously he would feel low so we would cheer him up like yeah mera bhi itna hi aaya tha koi dikkat nahi so 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 that really helped like uh, yeah. yeah sometimes the dsc paper went like The, yeah the level just suddenly some questions yeah. blasted off yeah 14 16 <laughs> yeah 21 yeah. yeah that 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 happened hmm so okay so uh, so through that time uh, that motivation came from friends that okay this is i we keep ourselves we we'll, we'll do this together jo bhi hoga dekha jayega thoda aur karte hain thoda aur karte hain and yeah, yeah. you all gathered some momentum because of that so that is also a great idea yeah. that you know keep yourself surrounded by people who are doing this so yeah. that uh, it it helps it obviously helps and dekh ke to aur man karta acha wo pad raha tha kal raat ko main aaj raat ko padunga yeah. <laughs> that just always has happened a healthy yeah. thing like uh, yeah of course yeah, of course yeah. it's good for both yeah good for you you will go to dsc i am from dsc and i'll tell you that's the only way to survive dsc <laughs> because <laughs> dsc is going to be hard and uh, everybody studies in the library together we all let try to understand kya ho raha tha class mein and help each other and get done somehow yeah. so that is going to be a big thing of big part of dsc also so great and uh, anything in you know before the exam was there anything special that you focused on kyunki ab exam aa gaya hai this is what i'm going to do you know how or what was your revision kind of tactic um did you prepare like little little notes or did you mark certain topics that okay ye mujhe revise karna hai this is not very good for me yeah how was your like uh, you know last month last week last moment kind of revision tactic oh, okay so so i i had completed my syllabus in in january only so so i was just revising syllabus um, uh, uh, once or twice a month uh, in in the last two three months uh, mm-hmm. okay. also also i so also i i gave a lot of mocks uh, in okay. the last month 5 uh, okay. to 10 mocks and uh, and also the previous years um, uh, i think uh, after july that mm. uh, after the isi mm. period i i gave uh, i gave all the dsc this years two times like like i used to practice uh, it as it, as, as it is it, it was a paper only so okay I, so you yeah. should do full length papers ek saath baith ke in 3 hours yeah. in 2 yeah. hours whatever was the time yes uh, okay. the whole dsc paper so i think it it gave me a flavor like uh, Uh, the pressure to leave the questions that which questions uh, should i leave and which which okay. uh, which one should i attempt first so that thing also the mocks helped in the way that uh, i got used to new questions new questions that were that were coming so that was also yeah. helpful yeah uh, so so you used to do that that you know within two hours you could only attempt let's say pehle when you started off you could only do let's say half the paper then you know increase a, increase how much you could do in those two hours Did you also kind of keep track of your progress or anything? Uh, no, just uh, just 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 how much uh, mistakes I'm making. Like uh, okay. uh, like the, like first time I did uh, did it, then second time how much questions I'm able to solve now? Uh, uh, are there any weak topics? 
so 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 i so i watched uh, the videos again of the free, uh, of the of my week topics like uh, mm-hmm. uh, like my as asd post week and my sambhosha ecotex was week so i used to brush them up uh, regularly so i think uh, giving giving dsc uh, previous year as as exams only and uh, and giving f- f- uh, maybe 10 15 mocks uh, will really help uh, for the preparation right so i think that's a great idea that because that's the actual dse exam and mm. you may also have done the questions in the past but doing them together one after the other yeah. that is that that will still challenge you yes uh, because there's time to be managed and you don't remember everything you keep forgetting things so yeah. within those time frame if you you know if you repeatedly do things uh, and also i think that makes you uh, that kind of makes you get used to jump questions that you jump from let's let's say a math matrices to an eco production to uh, a statistics probability you 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 kind of learn how to jump topics effectively in the exam mm-hmm. you kind of learn how to read the paper in the exam that which question to attempt did you also do that you know which question should i attempt first which should i leave did you kind of practice that uh, i didn't practice it but uh, i think uh... Uh, uh just by seeing the question in, in exam exam i i had practice enough to know in the exam only that okay th- this question is very hard to be done right now so i should leave it or okay. or if if some topic is there that i know i am not very uh, confident about so i should also leave that so 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 it, so it gives you pra- practice and it, it it makes you used to the 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 questions the type of questions that that come also also the also the previous year questions that get repeated uh yeah. i mean uh, you you can't you can't leave those questions uh, uh, uh because yeah you you already know them because they, everyone will be, will be, will be that answering that, that. yeah so, yeah, so, so yeah, really, yeah. that saves yeah. time also yeah you that's it previous years, it saves a lot of time yes yes yeah so yeah. I, you are saying that because of so much practice you became a little intuitive okay ye mujhe i it's more it's more there's more chance i'll do this one I yeah. may may not be able to do this one, so let me do the ones that I can actually do first. Yes. Yeah, sure. And you know, finish finish the whole paper. Look at the whole paper. Do yeah. what you can do for sure, and then come back to the question which you're not so sure about. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That seems like a good strategy. That seems like what everybody should do. Stick to their strengths and first do what they can do. And uh, so, um, how was your paper once you gave it? Were you excited that okay it went well and you know maybe I get in, or what was the feeling like? yeah so i was very tense after the exam i also messaged you like like uh, i have only done 32 questions and uh, i'm also not very confident about all the questions because uh, i don't know at that time i was not able to oh uh, yeah i remember you messaged you you actually only attempted 32 32 questions yeah, yeah. So, was, so i was very tense at that time like uh, and also my friends uh, had done 40 40 questions like everyone Uh, whom i asked they have done uh, 40 questions so i thought yeah i have done very less mm. uh, even if the exam was uh, difficult or medium uh, s- uh, still i i did uh, very less questions you thought even maybe you played it too safe by not uh, giving not attempting yes, yes. only or i did my exam too slow or i i wasted a lot of time on unnecessary questions or difficult questions so i was thinking that uh, but uh, but then uh, but then i didn't thought about it a lot and then i i thought let's see what happens um, and i uh, i remember i was uh, i got one good i may uh, uh, after the after the answer key i had 98 marks and then they got increased to 120 out of 200 after the corrections corrections yeah. and all yeah that was it that was it yeah, yeah. So, so were you then excited to see your rank because you clearly didn't expect it yeah i, I I was I was thinking I I I'll be at uh, I'll be around forty to fifty rank range. <laughs> I was I was I was not ex- expecting at all ninth uh, ninth rank. Rank ninth, yeah, so it, yeah. So it was yeah. surprise for me to, to totally that surprise. Yeah. That's great. So that is actually that is a lesson because you are saying you attempted only thirty two, and yes. uh, out of fifty, it is on the on the lower side as to most other people. But mm. then look at your rank. I mean that kind of proves that. uh sometimes it is good to stick to what you know yeah and uh, yeah. you know uh, if you don't know something and so did you uh, so let's talk talk about this a little more so mm-hmm. when you left when you did only 32 questions you left so many do you remember what was the reason like because was it because you were unsure was it because you know uh, what was it uh, do you remember anything that how come you ended up doing less but it worked so i want to understand that that you know what worked there 
Yes, yes. So actually, uh, I screamed through through the the whole paper. So okay. so um, uh, uh, at that time, I thought the micro is easy. Sorry, macro is easy. Uh, and micro was uh, micro was a little bit tough. Maths was okay. Stats was okay. But uh, I think I I wasted some time in maths questions and. Uh, a lot of time in maths and macro questions one macro questions question that was the the solo the 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 the, the production function question i wasted around 15 to 20 minutes on that one question i don't know it was it was my strong topic uh, macro was my strong uh, area so i thought let's uh, yes. i can I, I can leave these uh, free marks uh, rather than doing maths uh, i thought i should do uh, the, this question only but but uh, but after wasting time, like uh, I I took one assumption uh, from the, uh, from the problem, like uh, the question one was was not complete. It was kt is equal to some kt some some, some variables value was one. So I assumed it to be one and solved it. So uh, I don't know. I, I panicked at that that time. I think, mm. but uh, but 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 uh, I think uh, even if I had got time. Uh, I wouldn't have done maths question uh, uh, that much because um, I did I did uh, whatever I was confident in. So I think one should do that only. Okay. Fully and I think, in, yeah. I think hearing you, it also gives you know tells the students that there's there's so much humanity. I mean, it's like any other person. You are you are uh, faltering in exams. You are wondering what to do. You are stuck at questions. Yeah. You know, it's it's everybody is going through the exact same story. Yes. You know, so uh, so I think it's uh, ultimately uh, your basics, your uh, strength of concepts of what you knew uh, that worked. That you know, even when you were facing problems and shoot try and shoot try and things are happening, not happening, but still, mm -hmm. you know, what you did, you managed to do that well. Uh, and the base of that was all this work that you had been putting in for the entire year. That mm -hmm. I think uh, you know ultimately helped. I think you only you only have to maintain yourself in the in the exams. Go through all the problems. Try to do all the problems, and whatever happens, then happens. Like uh, you have to make your concept strong uh, initially. That's all I think is it's required. Yeah. So I think that kind of sums it up. That uh, that's what I have gotten from most people. Most people who've been scoring these ranks and who've done really well, they have uh, given a lot of time to their basics. So that that always helps you. Yes, that yes. always gives you that uh, little bit of edge because mm -hmm. when your basics are strong, it is not very easy to fool you. You know, the questions don't fool you that easily once your basics mm -hmm. are strong. Yes. Yeah. Great, Apoor. Uh, so I wish you very all the very best. I hope you enjoy Delhi. I hope you um, uh, enjoy your time at DSC. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it was really nice chatting with you. And uh, all the very best for, uh, you know, your career ahead, whatever you want to do, research, jobs, whatever. So mm -hmm. I wish you all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for calling me here. Yeah. Yeah, my pleasure, Apoor. It was great chatting. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm.